SteveHuffPhoto.com. I'm here today with the Sony RX1 out in Carmel, California at the Sony press event. Been here all week doing all kinds of fun stuff and Sony has been generous with me and I have been shooting with this RX1. It's been in my possession for the past three, four days. Shot low light, good light, high light, all kinds of light with it. It's fast, it's responsive. I'm just gonna cut to the chase and tell you guys what you wanna know. Yes, this is expensive. It's a $2799, $2,799 camera, but it is it has a full frame 35 millimeter sensor. The same sensor that's in the camera I'm shooting this video with, the Sony A99, their flagship full frame DSLR. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the image quality coming out of the RX1, from my tests and experiences, is slightly better than what's coming out of the A99. Sharper, I'm getting smoother results, better low light uh, by far, I don't know why that is, but the RX1 has the best low light, high ISO performance I've ever seen out of any digital camera, period. This is it right here. Now there's a reason it costs $27.99. The first reason is there's nothing like it on the market. You get a lot of people saying, I can buy a uh, D3, or not a D300, I could buy a 5D2 and a lens for the same price. Yeah, but a 5D2 is massive. It's gonna be out to here, it's fat, it's heavy as hell, it's got huge lenses. The point of the RX1 is its size. You take off the external viewfinder, it fits in my coat pocket. It has a 35 millimeter Zeiss F2 lens, a sonar, and the quality of this lens, because it was mated with the camera together, so you, got, you get ultimate performance from this setup. A lot of things people don't know is, to, to, for Sony to get a full frame in this size, this lens, if you look at the exploded view, it might be online, this lens goes all the way back to, to a little bit back here. I mean, this three quarters of the body inside is taken up by the back of this lens. So this could not have been a mirrorless multi-change or interchangeable lens camera system because the lenses would have been sticking out that far. This was made as an all-in-one unit for all the pieces to work together really well and Sony has accomplished this. The quality coming out of this will beat most full-frame DSLRs, period. I've been shooting with it all week. I've been shooting with the Sony A99. I've been shooting with the NEX6, which I will sneak in here real quick. There's the NEX6. And the NEX6, I find, is an improvement over the NEX7 in almost every way. Sharper images I'm getting anyway. Uh, much better high ISO than the NEX7. Not much better, but a stop or two better than the NEX7 because of the smaller sensor uh, count, 16 megapixels versus 24 in an APS-C. But right now I'm talking about the RX1 people, and this is a full frame monster that fits in my coat jacket pocket. Um, here's the lens hood. When the lens hood is on, it looks pretty handsome. So you got the nice lens hood. Um, on the top of the camera, you have your dials, okay? You have your exposure compensation dial over here, and it's solid. It clicks into place solid, it's not loose. You have your mode dial here. I've been shooting on aperture priority. I've also tried sweep panorama, I tried movies and these will all be in the samples. You have a pop-up flash here, which I have not used, but it's very solid. This whole camera is very well made. It's metal body and it feels solid. Um, it's a very solid, well-made camera. We have your controls. You have your AEL button, which also doubles as your magnifier when you're playing back images. And you also have a dial here, so if you're in manual mode, you can change your shutter speed here and your aperture is changed on the lens. So it goes from F2 to F22, and this is very solid. You also have a uh, setting on the lens right here where if you want to shoot closer, you can shoot up to 0.2 meters, which is very close. For example, most Leica lenses only shoot 0.7 meters at the closest distance. So if you want to go closer, you can go to 0.2, or for standard shooting, it's 0.3 to infinity. So that's a little thing, feature of the lens. This has the orange dial on the lens, and that is signifying it's a 35 millimeter full frame CMOS image sensor. Um, also, the menus are exactly like the RX1, uh, 100, I'm sorry. The little RX100, which is 
an amazingly popular camera for good reason because the quality, the sensor that Sony made for that camera is one of the best small sensors, if not the best. Sony is doing some amazing things with sensors these days. But the menu is the same thing. You have your setting menu, your image size, aspect ratio, quality, etc. Movie settings, you know, you can do AVC HD or you can do MP4. Uh, you can change 60i to 60p to 24p. Um, steady shot, there is steady shot. Uh, I believe it's electronic steady shot. It's not optical steady shot, and that is for the movie mode, um, audio options, etc. Red eye reduction, all the fun stuff. Peaking. It has focus peaking because when you manually focus, and this camera is one of the best feeling manual focus cameras of this genre. Much better than the X Pro One by Fuji. Much better than the Fuji X One Hundred. Uh, better than uh, focusing an Olympus lens on an OMD. It almost feels like you're really focusing a real lens instead of the uh, usual fly-by or focus-by-wire feeling. Uh, so the manual focus is good and you can turn on the peaking. So using the peaking, you can tell what's in focus. You can change the peaking color. Magnif uh, manual focus assist blows up the screen if you want. I have that off because the peaking was working just fine. So you can also assign all your buttons. You can, uh, the AEL button you can assign, the left button, which will uh, control your smart teleconverter and zoom, which you can turn this into a 50 millimeter pretty much. And I'm gonna take a couple of shots real quick because uh, I haven't done that just yet. And you can set all your buttons right down, all these clicks right here. You can even change the movie button to something else. Um, your playback, your card options, more settings. It's pretty much simple. It's a very simple menu, much better than the NEX uh, series for menus. Um, so that's it. You have your, on the side, this is where the charger plugs into. It does have an external charger. It does have a microphone input, which is really cool for movies. And you have uh, HDMI, I believe that is. And on the bottom is where your uh, battery goes right here. If I can get it open, there we go. So it shares the same battery as the X, uh, RX100. It's a tiny little guy. I wish the battery life was a little longer, but um, it's not too bad. It's about the same as the RX100, and your SD card goes there. So, with all that said, there's your movie button. The RX1, as you can see on my site at stifaphoto.com, I've been posting samples. I've even posted ISO 25,600 samples that blew my mind. They look like most cameras, 3,200. Um, and there is the electronic viewfinder, which is pretty slick. It's the same viewfinder that's in the A99, which is an improvement over the NEX7. So this is a better viewfinder, though it's outrageously obscenely priced at $650, which I find to be a little overboard. It should have been $300 at the most. So another doohickey, well not doohickey, but here's a um, optical viewfinder, which is a Zeiss 35mm optical, which is big and bright and retro looking. But the problem is when you use that, you can't tell what the camera is focusing on. Uh, here is a thumbs up grip, which is pretty slick. If you want to add a little grip to your RX1, this slides into the shoe. And there you go, you have a thumbs up grip just like on the Leicas. If you don't want to use it, you twist it over. You have your play button and your dial control. When you want to use it, you flip it back over and you have a thumb rest right there. And if you want to use the optical, that slides on top of that. The only negative is with the thumb grip, you cannot use the EVF because you need the special shoe for the EVF. And when you plug in your uh, grip, there goes the shoe, you're using a cold shoe on top of that. So overall, the RX100 is an amazing, revolutionary camera. Uh, you cannot say, oh, I can get a, um, you know, a, a 5D for that cost, because it's a totally different camera. First of all, this will kick a 5D to the curb. The ISO performance is outstanding. The sharpness is outstanding. You don't have to mess with soft lenses. You have it all built in. So this is not even comparable to any other full-frame camera because it's shrunken down, it's tiny. Next to this A99 I'm shooting this with, this is small and light. The A99 hurts my wrist with a big old Zeiss lens after a half hour, an hour. It's ridiculous. This in my coat pocket, perfect. And the quality 
is better than the A99. So the only the only cons are you're stuck with a 35 millimeter f2. If you can live with the limitations of a 35 millimeter lens, which I know many of my viewers do because a lot of us shoot Leica and a lot of us shoot Leica with a 35 or 50. This can do 35 and if you set in that magnify mode, you can do 50. Um, so keep an eye out to stevehuffphoto.com and uh, I will be posting more thoughts on the RX1. I've already posted quite a few uh, and I have to give the camera back today but soon Sony will be sending me one for a full long-term review so I can uh, go at my own pace and not have to rush everything. Uh, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed a look at the Sony RX1 um, and also keep an eye out on the site for my Sony NEX6 report. I got some great shots with it and this is the 35 f1.8 lens for the Sony NEX system and it's really slick, um, great quality and the NEX6 is a very solid, very nice camera. It resembles the NEX7 with a different control scheme which I kinda prefer. Um, so there you go, this is kind of a no-brainer deal. It's like a thousand bucks with a lens I think or something like that and uh, the quality is outstanding though you do not get the same quality as you get from the full frame RX1 so it all depends on what you want. $27.99 which is a little out there it's like a thousand bucks I think so um, you can get a couple of these for the price of this but this you're gonna get much better quality out of the files so there you go I hope you enjoyed it keep an eye out to stevehuffphoto.com all the time for something new exciting and fun and I hope to see you there bye